Hi, I'm Donald with Steambrite Supply, and today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, dehumidification boosters or amplifiers. Now, a lot of times people in the industry need to use desiccant dehumidifiers, and desiccant dehumidifiers work a little differently than refrigerant, and typically the air that comes out of a desiccant is hotter and drier, and they're also more expensive to purchase and operate. So uh, we developed this dehumidifier booster, which is going to give the same air quality out of it to let you use it in job sites uh, and locations where you need really hot, really dry air. Now, typically, the air that comes out of this unit, you would reduct it uh, either inside of a wall or under a staircase or maybe in a hardwood floor, under a hardwood floor, or maybe tent it over a hardwood floor, or maybe even just duct it to another collar, which then this can be taken and sucked into the side of an air mover, and then that air mover can uh, uh, blow it either up in a crawl space, attic space, or up a wall, or depending on how you want to use this. Now, just to show you how this works, uh, today we've got a hygrometer turned on here, and it's saying that right now it's 70.8 degrees Fahrenheit in the room, and we're at 56 point, uh, well, 57% relative humidity. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and just turn on the dehumidifier, and then after it's run for 10 minutes, we'll come back and show you how the dehumidifier works. And then on the third, we're going to go ahead and turn on the booster and show you how it changes the air. Now, if you review your psychrometric chart, if you take the same air that comes out of a low grain refrigerant dehumidifier, which is typically around 95 degrees Fahrenheit and 16% relative humidity, and just by raising the temperature and making those air molecules more reactive, you can make the uh, relative humidity actually drop in half and make it hold 100% more water. So we'll uh, have you come back in just a minute after we get our dehumidifier turned on and acclimated. Hi, I'm Donald with Steambrite again, and we've had this dehumidifier running for uh, 10 or 15 minutes, so we've had an opportunity for it to acclimate. And I wanted to show you on the hygrometer, it is currently right at 15.9% relative humidity. Maybe if I backlight it, at 97 degrees Fahrenheit. So on our next test, we're going to go ahead and plug in our dehumidifier booster and then have you come back in 10 minutes and show you how dry and how the, hot the air is when uh, and you can see automatically even right there within just a couple seconds we've got it to 11% relative humidity and it's dropping quickly Anyway, we'll have you come back in just a minute after it's uh, acclimated. Fine, we've had this on for five or ten minutes, and we wanted to show you right now we've got the air coming out at 8.6% relative humidity and 119 degrees Fahrenheit. So that is the same air quality and dryness of a desiccant dehumidifier. And this might be a great option for drying hardwood floors, walls, cabinets, um, toe kicks, anything that you're having difficulty getting dry and you need to get the air super dry. Um, you could even pipe this inside of a car if you needed to dry the inside of a flooded car. Um, again, you could also pipe it right to an, the intake of an air mover. A lot of different possibilities if you have a wall pressurization machine, you could actually pipe it right to that. This could also be used in a building if you didn't have heat in the winter time and you're having difficulty keeping the building above 60 degrees Fahrenheit, you could use this just in the open air to warm up the space. Much cheaper than a desiccant and uh, hopefully you enjoy it. 